Well, the fiberglassing on the uh, buggy seems to have done really nicely, but the, uh, the the cardboard is a bit stiff, so I've got to scrape all that off. But all in all, it's very strong. So that gaping hole, I think, will repair nicely. Now, the next job we've got to do is the only thing left on the ferret to do is one of the batteries isn't in a battery box. So um, I'm going to have to rob one off another ferret. I'm not sure what ferret yet. But uh, we really want to finish this, get it out of the workshop, have a play in the snow. Well, busy week next week, we start on weapons development. And basically, this whole area that was our Land Rover area, everything's got to be cleared and hidden away. And then basically, they'll be doing their special stuff that's top secret we can't talk about. And um, we've got to move these ones as well. A bit of a bummer. But there we go. It's about the last part of Tanks a lot, still chugging along nicely. Weapons development. Who would have thought it? We do a lot of it. We had to slave the Tiger one, but there we go, that's how it goes. It's hardly worth changing the batteries when um, we won't be doing any Asian weddings. Not for a long while yet. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I never got me going with Sea Breacher, which was a bit of a bummer, but there we go. Yes, that was supposed to be my Christmas go. I've got to move my Jeep. I'll probably have to move that because uh, they don't know what buttons to press. What a beauty. All Jeeps should be made like that. The bit I like is round here. And I like it a lot. I might have these duplicated. How cool, cool is that? Only an American can think of that. Now I remember when Robert first came up here, we could get him in a CVRT, but he couldn't get out again on his own. We had to take the seat out and he had to get out the back. The T69's in the way as well, that's got to be pulled out the way. I'm going to try and turn that, but I don't know whether the tractor will pull it on ice. I don't know. But hopefully we can turn that round and push it forwards into a gap over there next to that Wimmick. And that'll look very cool. I don't like robbing Peter to pay Paul, but I know we've got this one here and we haven't started the restoration on this, so we can wog this, can't we, Robert? No one's gonna worry about it. So we need a battery box and a top. Have a rummage. Yes, an interesting vehicle. Uh, many of you might not recognize this, but this is the elusive Mark IV. And the elusive Mark IV had bigger wheels than a normal ferret. And it had this flotation screen just here. And this flotation screen lifts up and it reveals this rubber, rubber flotation screen. Now this is a bit like an accordion. And the idea was you could lift this screen up about three feet, put these supports in, and then um, basically take it swimming. A ridiculous idea. Probably why these are really rare because they all sank. Um, I believe they did the same to Shermans, and um, they used to sink as well. But anyway, if you did have this urge to have a swimming ferret, we're your boys. Now, I drove this into position, oh, I don't know, I don't know, five, six years ago. And um, fabrication, um, it's, the box on the side is fiberglass, and, these, uh, and then this stuff on the top here, this is tin work, and in places it's not very good. And I think on a swimming ferret, because the bloke who buys this, he's going to be swimming it. And it's just gone rusty. And I've got a fabrication company. Um, they're going to come out and take it away. And they're going to replace all the tin work. And then we're going to do the rest in our normal style. Now, the turret has already been needle gunned and repainted all oh, years ago when I first got it. And I was all keen. Have you got a top for that as well, Rob? Oh, bollocks. We're going to need a top. Got to be in there, isn't it? Well, I'll leave you to rummage, and I'll go off and do something else even even more boring. See you soon. Going to do that wheel black, are you, to go on the yellow Land Rover? Yeah. Okay. And um, before you can rub it down, you've got to thaw it out. Yeah. There's a layer of ice on it. Okay. We'll tuck it under Vanessa. She'll keep it warm. Don't worry darling, the golf trolley's coming.
It's just slow, but it's coming. I've ordered the spares. Well, after an awful lot of jiggery pokery, pulling it forward and then pulling it backwards and pulling it forwards and pulling it backwards, we've managed to nigh on, nigh on, line it up so we can park it over there out the way till we're ready to attack it. But um, it's funny, we could twist a chieftain that's 50 odd ton easier than we could twist this. And I think it's because it's got an aggressive track. It's not a long tank, which should act to our advantage, but it's got a very grippy, aggressive track. So we're gonna move the Wimmick out of the way and it's gonna live next to that Abbott until we start having a go at the engine. And that'll be some time because lots of bits inside are seized. But it is entirely, entirely complete, entire. So basically it's a matter of, um, when I look at the brake bands and things, they're all looking very new. Um, and things like road wheels and the tracks, it's a low hours tank, but it stood for a long, long time. And that's going to take a little bit of love. Yes, I'm an Abbott man myself. I love Abbots. A little bit big on the roads, but, um, and I must admit, I've been playing in the CVRTs lately, and I did like, um, I've not registered my striker yet, but um, we applied for a disco from the MOD, and they got it immediately. So it's all recognised. It wasn't a Belgian one or anything like that. So I'll have the striker on the road in the uh, in, a, in what fortnight, and this little saber that is a beauty, and that's got uh, simulated fire on the main gun and the chain gun, dugga 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 with lots of fire. And then over here, over here we've got the stormer, that one there. I won't walk over because it's making it wobble. There, I'll zoom, zoom, zoom. There you go with the rocket pod. Now I've got a few of these that we use off road and I might borrow a few little bits off it to make it a bit more complete, then give it a paint job. I'm very fond of that. Quite rare to have one on the roads in uh, the that UK. That straight bar, which is a bit banana shaped, is going in the scrap. And this one, which we got as a freebie in the back of a lorry, someone forgot all about it, is um, our pushing bar. And if it's, uh, if it's not long enough, because the barrel's up there, We'll join two together with the shackle in the middle and I'll just be really accurate on the pushing. There is nothing we can do with that one either. It's a shame we can't revolve the barret, but, barrel but there's um, some sort of dark secret that we, uh, we haven't mastered. One way or another that turret isn't turning. We don't know why. Anyway. We'll always find a way. Okay. Do you always have to do that then?
about all you're good for is scrubbing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you recognise this piece? No. This is the front of your golf buggy. Really? You know the one that had the big hole here you could put your, your ends through? I thought you were just going to buy a brand new one and bin it. No, you couldn't. You probably couldn't buy a bit now. But I have noticed when I'm looking at the spares of them golf buggies, I tell you what, it's double dear. Yeah. They are a lot of money. Little silly things like the windscreen is a couple of hundred quid. Jeez. Per spec windscreen. So if you could buy one of these front ends, I bet that would be a couple of hundred quid. Anyway, this should be stronger now than an original. Oh, that's a good job, isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to paint it? Are you? Yeah, I'm sorry. getting me camouflage scheme, aren't I? Yeah. Wow. Boat fiberglass. It's like a speedboat now, so it should be uh, stronger than ever. In fact, we'll take it with us. I may as well bolt it on. Good job. Are we going ferret driving later? Yeah. Okay, I've just got to put a battery box. Come on, sweetie. 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 Come on, Oi, Chubbs, which one's your favourite, Snickers or a small geezer? Don't say small geezer. Uh, I like the, uh, the double bar, what's it called? Oh, double decker? Yeah. Well, I didn't give you that as an option, though. I like the double decker. <laughs> now, in theory, it should form something like... That should fit like a glove. Yeah. In theory. Let's do a little bit more closer. There. That's what it's going to look like. That's what I found. What? Hang on. No, too close. Go there. Bancroft. 
Golf Club. Oh, Where's no, Bancroft Sang Golf Club? Sancroft. Scarcroft. Oh. <laughs> Scarcroft <laughs> Golf Club. No, you blind, you're blinding us with that, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> so it's not quite fitting? No, it is. It's got a bolt down yet. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so that'll fit lovely. Ah, so... These oh. little pegs that fitting in the front. This is good as new. I bet nobody else bought their wife a, um, a golf buggy for Christmas to do feeding for nine dogs. No, probably not. <laughs> But they don't love you as much as I love you. Uh, <laughs> now, if you would like the summer option, I could take the windscreen off so you don't have to defrost it. Yeah. For the winter. Then yeah. In the summer, I'll put it back on again. I've got new rubber grommets coming too. Wallace and Gromit. No, rubber grommets. <laughs> Yay. And all your seats have been re They look fantastic. Not. So we'll sandblast your wheels and all your bits. And... Um, It'll be just like new. And round the back here, look. We found this in a car we ran over. And I thought, that's a bit cool. And I've got a piece of steel coming that I'm going to make. That goes on there. Right there. Yep. And then that one there is going on there. And that's going to be for your water bottles. Fabulous. Because that fits four milk bottles. <laughs> You've measured it and everything. Oh, yeah. We're all set. You little sweet.